Part 11. We are going to continue with the lowest common multiple and we are going to look at a few practical examples. You will find this on page 14 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first go through example 9. Three patients visit the doctor at intervals of 8 days, 15 days and 24 days respectively. If they all go to the doctor on 1 May, what will be the date when they next all go to the doctor on the same day? To find the next same day, you must use the lowest common multiple of 8, 15 and 24. And you will find the prime factorization of each number. So do it with 8, so it's 2 to the power 3, 15, 3 times 5, 24, 2 to the power 3 times 3. I'm just going to use the method of index notation. Then I'm going to write on all the different bases with the biggest index. So if I look, all the different bases, so there's 2, there's 3, there's 5. So the biggest index will be 3. So if I press on my calculator, 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times 5, I will get 120. So it will be 120 days from 1 May. So therefore, from 1 May, I add 120 days. Use a calendar to help you. Start adding, and the first date that all three will visit the doctor will be 29 August. I want you to do for me try now 9. I want you to stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. A bell rings every 15 minutes and a whistle is blown every 18 minutes. The bell is rang and the whistle is blown at 8 a.m. How long will it be before the bell is rang and the whistle blown at the same time again? Number B, what will be the time at that moment? So, let's start. We are going to find the lowest common multiple of 15 and 18. So, let's start with 15. Let's do prime factorization. 3, 5, 5, 1. Let's do it with 18. So, it's 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, basically, if I look at 15 and I look at 18... This will be 3 times 5. Let's write it in index notation. So it's 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Okay, now I'm going to find the lowest common multiple. Now, write down all the different bases. So there's a base of 2, there's a base of 3, as well as a base of 5. And then write down the biggest index. So 2 will just be 1, but look at 3. There's a 1, and there's a 2, so I must write the 2. And 5 is just a 1. If I multiply this 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, I will get 90. So let's look at number A. How long will it be before the bell is rang and the whistle blown at the same time? It's 19 minutes or... I can take it as one hour, an hour is 60 minutes, so a one hour and 30 minutes. And let's look at number B. What will be the time at that moment? Remember, it's starting at 8 a.m. So if I take 8 and I add the one hour and 30 minutes, I will get 9.30 and it will still be in. So that will be the time when the bell rings and the whistle is blown at the same time.